in the Gangsta Goodies Kitchen. I hope you all are having a wonderful day today. And just, how y'all doing? You know, with all this, uh, you know, 30 days, you know, stay home if it's not essential, you know. How y'all doing? Oh, my God. You know, I try to always... Um, Find the brighter side, you know, looking at the cup as though it's half full versus half empty. So anyway, hope you all are enjoying the time that you are having at home with each other. If you're alone, finding the time just, you know, to kind of regroup, you know, recalibrate, rebalance, reconnect, you know. So I wanted to show you something that I have never, ever, ever made in my life before. So when I told my oldest daughter that I was making this, she was like, You've never made homemade pizza, y'all. So let me tell you a little bit about the ingredients, okay? The pizza that I'm showing you how to make today has spinach, Italian sausage, pizza sauce, pepperoni, onions, red bell peppers, mozzarella cheese, black olives, crushed pineapples, and green bell peppers, okay? So those are the ingredients that we're working with today for the pizza. So now that you know what I'm going to put in my pizza, of course, you can put anything that you want in yours, okay? Actually, it's fun for the whole family. Each person gets to put in their favorite vegetable or something like that. You know, it don't get no better than that. So uh, let me take a sip real quick. So... Mm. Mm -mm. This mimosa recipe is pineapple juice, cranberry juice, and of course, champagne. So, uh, pretty good, y'all. So anyway, so I bought some flatbread at my local Aldi's, okay? And so, and actually, I cut this in half. It was like long, like that. I guess I should have left a piece of it so you guys could see what it looked like. Well, anyway, so I cut it in half because what a great personal size pizza and then everybody in the family can make the pizza the way they like it. So I'm going to start with some pizza sauce, y'all. And I'm just going to tell you, I bought it. I've never made pizza before. I'm sure it's tomato paste with some Italian seasoning, some fresh garlic and that sort of stuff. But I didn't have time to think about it, nor did I want to because I needed to get in and out of the store, y'all. So um, speaking of that, and so I'm just spreading some of the, um, the pizza sauce on that piece of flatbread, okay? So there's no real, um, how much you use. I'm just kind of covering the whole, uh, flatbread here, okay? So now that I think I have the amount of sauce that I want, now I'm going to add the spinach, okay? I want spinach on my pizza, okay? So some people like it with lots of meat. Some people like it with no meat. So the great thing is that you cut these little puppies in half and then everybody has their own personal size pizza, right? So I thought that was a really cool idea. So me, I'm going to figure out something else to do with that flatbread. But here we go. So we have our spinach. Okay, so I've laid the spinach down. Now, the protein that I'm going to put on here is some Italian sausage. And I already cooked it, y'all. So you go ahead and pre-cook uh, the Italian sausage, if that's what you go for. And then I'm just going to put this on here. Okay? So, anyway, speaking of, I was saying, you know, I had to go to the store. had to get some groceries, y'all. You know, one of the things that I'm having to adjust with this whole COVID-19 is not being able to go to the store the way I normally do. So adjusting to it. But because my immune system is compromised because of the lymphoma that I'm living successfully with, it uh, because of that, my immune system is a compromise. So I do wear a mask. 
I know it's not the whatever, whatever grade mask, but it does offer me some protection when I do have to go out. And of course, gloves. And I take several new pairs of gloves with me. So, you know, I'm careful in that way too. So I shared all that to say, y'all be careful in your comings and goings when you have to go out. Otherwise, stay home and do things like this. Cook wonderful pizzas with your family. So I've got the Italian sausage on there. Now I'm also gonna put some pepperoni, okay? Cause I like pepperoni. So I'm just kind of uh, positioning that on there. And again, this is something fun you can do, you know, with your whole family. And again, I love pepperoni, so I'm gonna put a little more on there. Okay, I'll take that one out of the middle. Okay, so I got my pepperoni on there. Then I am going to put some of crushed pineapple. I know, right, y'all? I know some people say pineapple on pizza. Well, it's my pizza and that's, you know, what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna put a little pineapple on there. Okay, don't need a whole, whole lot, but just some so you know you got it. That little sweetness. Mmm, okay. Now I'm going to put onions. So what y'all like on y'all's pizza, okay? And then I'm going to put some red bell peppers. And then as you see, I'm kind of spreading the ingredients out instead of just topping them all kind of at the top. Like, you know, when you buy frozen pizza, it's all in the center. So green bell peppers. Y'all see, I love lots of vegetables on mine. So, and then I'm going to also put some black olives on there, y'all. Okay. Got my black olives on there. And last but not least, we're gonna put some mozzarella cheese. And so I am gonna uh, put this puppy in the oven. Look at that, take a look. This is what it looks like before it goes into the oven. You will have preheated your oven at 425. Once you put this in the oven, you can put it directly on the rack if you want crispy crust, or you can put it in a um, on a pie sheet, I mean a cookie sheet, if you want a more uh, moist, not so crispy uh, crust. So uh, anyway, so it's gonna go in the oven for seven to nine minutes, and when I come back, I get a chance to taste my pizza and tell y'all how fire it is, y'all. So we'll be right back. Okay, y'all, so here's the pizza, the homemade pizza, the first one, I've ever made in my life, y'all. So if I can do it, I'm sure y'all can do it too. Plus, it'll be fun for the kiddos or the grandkids or even for yourself. So I'm going to taste and tell you how fire this homemade pizza is. So I'm just going to pick it up. goodness you guys that is really good oh my goodness now I think the only thing I would do differently is I would probably add a little more pizza sauce but other than that it turned out fabulous we put the recipe up so we hope that you try it make it your own and most of all just have fun in the kitchen with your family and friends connect reconnect love on each other so peace out y'all y'all stay safe Follow the guidelines and all of that during this COVID-19 crisis. So peace out, y'all. Cheers.